Israel Adesanya, no stranger to main events. He's fought in four of them with UFC, but never in the light heavyweight class, putting his perfect 20-0 record on the line at UFC 259. Here is Adesanya speaking to Ariel Helwani on how he envisions the title challenge. There's two paths to victories. One I'll keep close to my chest because I really I want to surprise people. But the other one, it might look a lot like the Whitaker fight. A guy blitzing at me and getting caught violently. So maybe around second round as well? Yeah, it's very tough. I think so. Possibly around second round. But the first one I'm holding close to my chest, if he makes that mistake, ooh, it'll be the first round. But I want to keep that to my chest. And I promise you, I'll post the receipt, I'll post a screenshot to prove that I, that this is this is the path of victory that I envisioned as well. Wow. So you have there's like a many, time, like, there's many ways this could happen. There's many ways this could happen. Look, I could even lose, God forbid. But I'm just saying in different timelines. But there's certain timelines I really visualize and I hone on. And I see this happening two ways. The first one I keep close to my chest, but the second one, long force trauma, man. I love listening to him talk. He is intense, as serious as they get. Actually, a favorite turn, his second belt, and he's the third largest favorite by a UFC title challenger since 2008. Last time we saw something close to this was 2019 when TJ Dillashaw lost to Henry Cejedo. John Jones, John Bones Jones, did defeat Daniel Cormier as a bigger favorite in 2017, but was later, of course, stripped of the title. I, I just love the intensity.